okay in this tutorial what we're going to do is look at um, actually setting up the rig uh, just for animation or for ease of animation so first of all this is the oops excuse me um, this is the 11 uh, 11 rig uh, which is available in the 11 second club I just bring this over so 11 second club.com from here brilliant resources brilliant thing to do uh, is to uh, actually enter the competition so you have to create 11 seconds worth of animation for a particular um, dialogue clip so uh, what we're look really looking at is the resources and under resources we have a number of different rigs some of these are for different software so some are available for um, different things uh, particular um, types of software what we're, we're going to look at is the uh, 11 rig so you would go into download 11 rig go into this download version uh, my version 1.2 uh, for our particular purposes and then that would download a zip file and in there is all the information you need okay Sorry, I skipped through that a little quickly, but um, yes, uh, I'll put that. Uh, I'll actually put that um, link for the eleven rig in the actual uh, description for this video. Okay, so let's look at one of the problems with the rig. Well, uh, two of the problems with the rig, actually. The first and most visible is the problem with the eye. Oh yeah, this is just a problem with the normals. If I actually go into this and in lighting put two sided lighting on, everything's fine. But you don't really want to do that, you want to actually fix a problem. This is really just for the um, viewport's sake. So um, let's go back to that, switch that off. So that's one of the problems. And to actually find the uh, part of the eye that needs the normals flipping or the several parts that need flipping it's quite tricky to get in there and actually find that particular thing so the other problem is with the foot roll so if I go into the foot just go uh, into the um, channel box and into our roll see it works kind of one way but the other way no matter how far I push that we're not getting any roll on that at all and that's the same with both feet okay so luckily there is a fix for this and again you could go in manually and actually fix a problem with this but if I just go to another link now Again, this is from the 11 Second Club, uh, from their forum, and um, I just typed in problem with the actual rig and came up with this script um, that I'm to the guy, a 3D forum, uh, is actually put in there, which is brilliant. So what I can do is, let's just go into this. grab the script Let's go up to this point so all of these are actually just uh, notes so they won't be part of the script let's grab that let's copy that control C I'm gonna go into Maya and go into our Dynamaya 2016 script editor in here working in mail script let's just control V our script and then make sure we're down at the bottom of this and I'm going to press uh, the enter on the numeric keypad not the keyboard itself just go into this because I might have noticed the problem already but I'll just show that one thing has been fixed go into the roll now okay 
to this roll. Okay. Just going to control V my script again. You can see this script actually hasn't um, worked. Um, let's just try this, running this again. Just going to the script, press. Make sure we can see the I. not really change anything at all um, so let's just undo that a couple of times right, we're going to fix it to beyond this working again let's have a look at this yeah so I've just broken this so I'm just going to take this um, eye out for a second enter on that script so uh, just taking the bottom part of that script out which is the foot roll, con uh, foot roll fix make sure that works again okay okay I'm gonna paste back in this um, just gonna use this for reference essentially which in fact references out so I get an A1 run. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is kind of do this manually in a way. Type in select and I'll take it right up to the where is the uh, RI control this. Let's paste that in. Now this if I just press enter says uh, let's go into modeling uh, mesh display reverse okay select ri dir group there we go don't know why that didn't work in the first place um, so that's actually selected that uh, we can go into our mesh display Reverse that. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do the same thing. Let's just, I've got my script up here. Select uh, the next one, which is I there. Do that. Okay. On that, um, let's just try the pupils. So let's just grab this pupil A and leave that middle one for a second. Um, just grab this, let's control C, control V. Let's just do a select and let's just um, reverse that. I'm fixed. <laughs> a bit of a work around there, but um, I'm sure there is a better way to do that. But just as a manual way, uh, just to be able to get to these, uh, know these names, um, this is a difficult part. So just using the select um, script on there just to find those and then manually reversing those. Let's just close the script window now. I would save at that point actually as a fixed script, uh, as a fixed um, Myraski version of this 11 rig. And then you can always start from that point rather than having to redo that every time. So a couple of other things with this rig. Um, I always find these joints annoying within this. Sometimes you can accidentally click on those unless you uh, disable them. So I'm just going to hide those. So in the show panel, let's just go in and hide our joints in there. I'm also going to disable surfaces. Uh, if this isn't up there, you might have to find uh, that it's actually um, hidden. So just gonna hide that, and uh, we can just unselect the middle one. 
that doesn't allow us to click our surfaces now and then the final thing I'm going to do is just go around and select oh actually no um, before I start I'm actually going to use uh, an FK rig for the arms as well for a lot of this rather than the standard IK rig or the default IK rig that this starts with so it's just going to go down here and let's go quite far down to the bottom I always lose this I to think I've passed it okay down here we have the uh, leg IK blend and the uh, right leg left leg and we have the arms here so um, this is an IK mode right now we switch it into FK by setting this to a value of 1 and notice that we now get a different rig on there as well which is our FK rig for the arms so this is now working in rotation uh, rather than the FK rig of working with um, positional movement from a wrist controller again if you're working on this kind of thing often then it might be useful for you to save that uh, again at that point um, if not um, you can always switch that over as you need to switch it over the final thing in the setup is just to create a character set for this uh, or a, a selection set so I'm just going to go through and select um, using control shift just going to be careful up here that I don't select too much um, So I'm just wanting the parts of the body. I might just grab this neck controller in here. And then just uh, the head itself. So uh, when you're doing this, try not to forget the clavicles themselves and the hands, the, um, the actual controls of the fingers and the hand itself. And all the, um, in this case, just the knee. IK look at targets. So now we have those. Let's go into our select menu. Oops, uh, sorry, our create menu. Uh, sets, and we're going to do a quick select set. And there we could give it a name, so we could call it body set, something like that. Uh, and a useful thing to do with this is actually, um, I'm, I'm working on it already and have this. I've got a, um, a custom shelf up here with my tools on there that I use quite a lot and in there this is the actual thing it gives you so you just click on add to shelf and that will actually add that up there okay so I'll just cancel that out so what this means is that I can click on that he says it's very uh, oops um, control uh, sorry why there you go Let's actually just create a new one. So I'm just going to delete this uh, for a second. Okay. Uh, create set. Uh, quick select set. Oops. Hit the microphone. Let's call this body set. Let's add to shelf. And now we we'll click on that. It actually clicks all the things we need in there. And you probably want to set out one for the face if you're doing facial animation as well. Uh, but I'll leave it at the body for now. Okay. Uh, again, you could save that if you're going to use that kind of thing regularly. Um, be aware that if you take this to another computer somewhere else, you might lose this uh, selection link. You could actually save out your workspace and take it across as well and load it in. And that should bring in your, your shelves um, with your stuff in there. But you might have to create that selection set again. So just be aware of how to do that. So in, just in create set, uh, sets and quick select set. Uh, and that's it for this introduction tutorial just to the 11 rig uh, again remember the 11 um, second club uh, www.11secondclub.com uh, he says Oops, there we go 11secondclub.com okay uh, and we're in the forum there um, and as I say if you just go to the home or uh, the resources uh, we have a number of different things in there there's also some articles helpful hints um, some little bits of um, some you know different di different bits on uh, different parts of animation uh, and some of these are excellent to read as well so um, okay that's that